Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will find the linearity, invariance and causality of the below systems. So the system equation is given as y of n is equal to x of n square plus x of minus n. Fine. So let's check for the linearity first. So for an input x1 of n, y1 of n will become what? x1 of n square plus x1 of minus n, right? And for an input x2 of n, y2 of n becomes what? x2 of n square plus x2 of minus n. Hope it is clear to you. Now what you have to calculate, you have to calculate the weighted sum of outputs, which means you have to calculate a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n. We already know what is y1 of n, we already know what is y2 of n. So just multiply it, so it will become what? a1 into x1 of n square plus, plus what? x1 of minus n plus a2 into y2 of n means x2 of n square plus x2 of minus n. Clear? Now I am I am evaluating this so what I will do I will take uh, n square cases one side so basically it will become a1 into x1 of n square plus a2 into x2 of n square clear plus a1 into x1 of minus n plus a2 into x2 of minus n hope it is clear to you so this is what the weighted sum of outputs now you have to calculate the output due to weighted sum of inputs fine so basically what is the first term x of n square so the weighted sum of inputs so it will be a1 into x1 of n square plus a2 into x2 of n square okay plus what is the second term x of minus n so weighted sum of inputs here it will be what a1 into x1 of minus n plus a2 into x2 of minus n we already know this why i am taking this because y3 of n is what nothing but transform of a1 into a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n we already saw these things previously right so i'm writing down it here directly so if you see this both equation this one and this one this both expression so from here we got to know that boss y3 is equal to what this is equal to a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n so if this two are equal it means what our system is linear system our system is what linear system fine now let's go for the next check whether we have to see here the system is causal or non-causal so let's check at n is equal to minus 2 and n is equal to 2 i pick two instances so at n is equal to minus 2 so what is the original expression right here first equation plus x of minus n right so at n is equal to minus 2 y of minus 2 becomes what x of minus 2 square means what it becomes x of 4 right plus x of minus of minus 2 so it becomes x of 2 now calculate y of 2 so it will be what again x of 4 plus x of minus 2 so x of minus 2 so if you see here if you see here you are at which instance boss you are at n is equal to 2 instance but you need x of 4 here also you need x of 4 which is what which is future input so your output your output depends depends on what 
it depends on future input so if it depends on future inputs so your system is what non causal your system is what basically it is a non causal system hope it is clear to you that is what you have to calculate fine let's go for the next next check which is what whether it is time invariant or variant so we already know these things we have to calculate two things the output due to input delayed by a minutes and the output delayed by a minutes if these two are equal you can say the system is what time invariant if not equal you can say it is what time variant so let's calculate y of n comma m which is nothing but y of n when x of n is equal to x of n minus m so this will become what instead of x of n you have to keep x of n minus n so this will be basically this will be basically x of x of here you have to see this expression right so n is square so it will be n is square minus m because you are delaying the this input by a minute now plus x of minus m minus m hope it is clear to you this is what the output due to input delayed by m units now you have to calculate the output delayed by m units so in, in the place of n you have to keep n minus m so here it will become x of in place of n you have to keep n minus m so n minus m whole square clear plus x of minus n so minus of n minus m it will become what minus of n minus m so if you see this two this two are equal bus not equal this two are not equal right so from here you can say like system is time variant okay so in this case simply you have to replace n by n minus m and in this case if x of n is there directly you have to replace with x of n minus m so here x of n square was there so you, so it will become x of n square minus n and here it was x of minus n so x of minus n minus n hope it is clear to you so fine so if you have any doubt in this question you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching